That was it's crazy. It is crazy, man. We're on round seven, and we're starting a podcast. Wow. We played a little bit off camera, guys. We yeah, off camera. Off -camera. You, you, you know, we have to, like, train our fingers, and you know. Okay, you know, introduction, man. Again. Who are you? Again. What do you do? Why do you do this? Uh, where um, you were from? Okay, so the easiest way to answer this, the only way to answer this, is um, I'm Viper the Constrictor, also known as Mason Kukla by those who have read my book. Um, I am from Ohio. I am an author and a content creator on Twitch. Hmm. It's amazing. You know, Twitch is a really great place to like start up streaming and stuff. I mean, I started it four years ago. Uh, you really didn't know I was very, very much uh, lying about my age, but. Um, Luckily, I was, I was of age when I started streaming. I was 13 when I started. I know, it's 14 you could start. You see what happened to me? There were thousands! I'm pretty sure it was 14, right? No, it was, it's 13 now. It's 13? Wow. Yeah. Well, oh, I think so I did start, no, I did start at 13 because it was like right after COVID. Any inspiring streamers of 13 or above, you should start streaming. Twitch, come on. We all love small streamers up in here. I rave like a different small streamer. Every night, we, uh, we're, we're a pretty positive community. Oh, we're yeah. Twitch.tv slash Viper the Constrictor. Yep, yep. Your book. Oh, my God. I've heard amazing stuff about this book. Um, I've always wanted to get it. So, um, you know. Uh, tell me about the book. Anything you really want. Okay. Um, the book is called The King of Death's Installation. It is a uh, dark fantasy novel with a hint of romance. Um, the basic premise is this teenage boy's kingdom gets obliterated, like absolutely blown off of the realm. And uh, he wakes up in the rubble and is reminded in a flashback of how um, he made a promise to a wise man for immortality if he married a princess. Uh, so the basic premise of the story is that it takes place in a bunch of different kingdoms. I, I can't even think off the top of my head, it's been so long since I wrote it. Um, there's a bunch of different main characters, and uh, they all have their own stories, and they all intertwine at some point in the show. Or the show, man, the book. Sorry. Um, so, basically, there's a bunch of wars, there's a bunch of romance, uh, it's super gory, uh, on the second book, it's one of the doubles, the goriness. Um, it's about 225 pages long, so if you like shorter novels, mine's for you. And, um, it took me, like, two years to write it, so, I'm pretty proud of it. Nice. Yo. I do like fantasy, gory stuff. Can't wait to check it out. Especially with my upcoming school projects. We're about to finish our book project. Might as well pick that one up uh, for my next one. Excited That'd to read it. Sick. That'd be sick. That means if you buy it, uh, I would have sold 26 copies. Yeah. I mean, you're already at 25. That's really good. Uh, what's your I mean, inspiration? not bad for a month. Oh yeah, 100% for a month of just being out. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, what's your inspiration for either both content creation-wise and book-wise? Content creation, um, during COVID, when I was stuck inside doing online school when I was forced to do it, and now I'm not. Um, I watched this good old streamer, uh, Hubbo, and he was playing on the stream SMP, and from there, I was like, he was streaming to like, 3,000 people, just being stupid on the crash server, I feel like I could do that, so, uh, I think, a little while after COVID ended, and I caught my bearings back to life, um, I started streaming, and he hit like, 300 followers on that channel, and then I lost access to it. And now we are fighting the 
spelled incorrectly, apparently. <laughs> um, remember then, when? Book wise. Remember when we were at an SMP? <laughs> oh my God! That was great. Um, remember the how we? Then, Funny well, story, guys. We were in an SMP, formerly known for as not Topaz. Even a week. Um, not even a week. Uh, a week goes by. We're instantly booted off. Uh, we're not it's gonna my fault. Like, it's my fault, guys. Yeah, it's totally his fault. Um, my, my, I got a little uh, uh, ego and temper, and they killed my horse, and I got really mad at the bridge. Uh, no, no. Eight towards the bricks. bricks yeah, were very we evil may or bricks. may not have uh, tipped over their ship and spilled all their tea. Um, <laughs> and then I, I know we're still on that question. Uh, book wise, I read. Uh, well, actually, a few years back, I watched or started a Game of Thrones on HBO, and I, I fell in love with it. I was like, the the way they screen wrote the show and everything was amazing, and. From there on, I just gained this love for uh, fantasy, and I've always been a writer. I've always written uh, short stories, but I found the short story uh, labeled Teenage Boy Becomes Immortal, and when I got that, when I found that two years ago, I was like, I showed it to my friends, and they were like, okay, you gotta make that into something. So. I kept it a secret up until a month ago that I was writing, and it only came up because my girlfriend was writing something for a school project, and I was like, oh hey, I've been working on this for two years, it's getting published in like a month, and then I published it, my mom figured it out like a week before I published it, and then I've been in the newspaper, here soon I'm getting a certificate from my city. He's done some pretty cool things in the past month. Okay, that is something I um, never knew about. You never really revealed that. You were in the newspaper? Yeah, and uh, I was actually on... I was actually... So, one of one my friends ran, and then another one I actually did a full-blown interview for. So I thought was really cool. <laughs> That's... Dude... Oh, you know you've made it when you went on, um, like, actually been interviewed and stuff, man. Yeah, 100%. It was, it was so much fun. I would do it again. Uh-oh. I think I just lost this game. I'm sorry. That was fun. You know, we're doing, an, we're doing a podcast. We're not even worrying about this. It's more like a gotcha. background. They're really gonna pay now. Okay, we're gonna, like veer off the uh, book and what is your all-time favorite game you can turn it on and turn your brain off and always have a good time um so i it changes like twice a week uh but i love diablo it is right now my favorite game i will i i, I think i have over 2,000 hours in that game since i uh, got this xbox um so I would say Diablo yeah, 2 resurrected probably one of my favorite It's a lot of hours to put into one game. Minecraft has 16,000, so. Oh wow, that's Minecraft. Everyone is so way too many hours into Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Especially when COVID started. I'm talking just bedrock. When I played on my PC, my Pixel, I probably had way more. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Since you're an author and a writer, what is your favorite book that you haven't published or isn't associated with you? Um, that's a great question. Uh, any of uh, the Song of Fire by George R. Martin, which is the Game of Thrones series. Um. I have read them countless times. I got them for Christmas, and I think I've read all of them three times. So. Yeah, Short and I simple mean, answer right there. I've heard of, like, Percy Jackson when I was younger. I read the first Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson in elementary school. And it was, it was cool. It was, it was like, it wasn't what I wanted to write. But I would definitely write something like that. Oh yeah. So
So, what is one of your biggest challenges Green in life? Juice. Like, biggest accomplishments that was a challenge that you eventually got through it and you look back and say wow that was amazing i'm ama i'm amazed that i've even done that um high school it i'm still in high school don't get me wrong uh but public high school um my freshman year i was dating a senior oh it was pretty nasty i hope they i hope they don't see this because i have about i don't think pretty tame um but i went through a lot my freshman um, I ended up doing some pretty inappropriate things in restrooms, like I shouldn't have at my age. Um, I got assaulted. Oh! Yeah. Very fun. Gym, um, pretty much everybody watched me for my head back then. And, uh, I had a brain bleed. I spent two weeks just lying on my couch. Um, so I did online school for the rest of that year. And I went back my sophomore year and went insane. <laughs> uh, I skipped like a good half a year when I tried to commit suicide and was stuck in a hospital. Um, uh, uh, maybe you don't do that? <laughs> but now, now that I'm looking back on it, that's like quite the same thing to live through. Uh, definitely. My autobiography is gonna go wild someday. Um, as a actual freshman going into public school, um, already gone three-fourths of it, I understand completely, dude. That shit is crazy. It's wild. People are wild. It goes school. from zero to 100 really quickly. Man, you go from eighth grade, and especially, so, I think, back then, I think I did my seventh grade year online because of COVID. And went back for like the second half of my eighth grade year. Um, and I think because of that, I was just so far behind, like mentally, with like friends and stuff, mm. that high school was just even more wild. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I would say it's better for me than it was for you because we've been in school now for two years Stuff since so COVID and you were just coming off that COVID hump. That was that was a year, dude. COVID was crazy. Everybody in my family got it but me. Like you the lucky survivor. bitch. <laughs> was like you the lucky, lucky son of a gun, of the dude. Family. When I got it, oh, here's my COVID story. When I got it, I was laying in bed for the week. Done. I couldn't even do anything. Uh, when I got the, uh, so I was streaming, or like, I started streaming around the time that the vaccine finally came out. Mm. And I remember having to sit out of streaming for a good week and a half because I could barely move my arm. Oh. I still love the theory that they kind of microchip in your arm and that's why your <laughs> arm is super heavy. It's like funny that conspiracy theorists are like, they put a damn chip in my arm. I can't have a vaccine. It's against, it's against my beliefs. Because, uh, you know, I think Elon Musk is, is on to this. Everyone here to take me down. Elon no, Musk put a chip in our brain and then the COVID vaccine put one in our arm. We're slowly turning into robots, guys. <laughs> let's go. We're all Terminator robots. Let's go. Yeah, like, COVID was a just terrible time to be alive. Oh, right no next to the bubonic plague and shit. That was badass. Except now they just consider it another strand of the flu. Oh yeah. They're like, you know, if you don't have a fever for a day, just go back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they don't. They don't care. Oh yeah. The thing, the thing that once was killing like thousands of boys now just like, eh, whatever. You're fine. Yeah. Like, oh, you got COVID? Pretty common now. Shine every once in a while. Uh, but that was the time to be alive. Dude, okay. You can either make up a quote or your favorite quote that you have in mind right now. Any quote. Gonna need some juice soon. <laughs> can, I, can I use one from uh, an unpublished book? Oh yeah, that's fine. 
I won't tell you which one it's from, but it is from one of them, and it says, All will fall and tremble at my feet when I reign supreme. Oof. And yes. when I read that quote, every time I'm writing my book, I'm like, Damn straight, when I'm the supreme ruler of the mighty world, y'all will feel at my feet. I, I have such a huge ego. Put that on a fucking... Put that on a shirt and fucking make that as merch. I... Okay, to be honest, I really want to do merch right, at some it. point for uh, my book series. I just don't know when. But that that is a plan in the back of my head. Yeah, that is the spot. Oh yeah, 100%. When merch line comes out... I'll probably have some money by then. <laughs> probably. Better. Hopefully. Yeah. You better. That's crazy. You better have money. You better buy my merch. <laughs> oh my god, man. Like, on a daily basis, who inspires you? My mom. Oh. My, mom my mom inspires me 100%. Shit my mom's been through is like nothing compared to what I've been through and it inspires me to be a better human. Oh my god. That is the, the answer I was looking for. And this is one of them. People are like, I guarantee someone in your podcast will be like, oh you know, for like, I don't even know when he first started being the, and what is he, the president of Russia or something? Uh, he's a dictator of Russia, I'm pretty sure. Vladimir fuckface, yeah, that bitch. Nah, but it's uh, 100% my girlfriend and my mom. My girlfriend. Dude, I know she'll be watching this at some point. I swear Vladimir's on some crack cocaine shit, though. You ever seen the video of White Putin? Of what? You have to look it up and something. Uh, it's called Y2. It's, uh, this, it's like this image of him, or a video of him walking down a hallway, but he looks super wide. Oh, like yeah, Roblox dude, character. I've seen that because, okay, back when COVID was a thing, I was, like, hella in the chest. So, I had that, but with Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> the literal best, um, chess champion. Uh, and I've, I've seen that clip so many times with the, the music in the background, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's a, what's a day in a life for you? You wake up, what do you do? Okay, you, you want a genuine day in the life? Oh, yeah. I wake up, I feed my dog, I take my dog outside, I come into my room, I do school for like two or three hours in the morning, and then I write for the rest of the day until like nine o'clock when uh, I stream. It's pretty crazy. I, I'm Dude. literally just grinding my uh, career. <laughs> Speed running career stats, dude. That's, um, and that's, all, uh, that's all you can really wish for. The parts of doing online school is you don't have to do it for, I don't know, eight hours a day. Mm, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, Dude, online school is way better than fucking public. Yeah, but it also, I also, it has some downsides. Like, um, it, like social life, you fucking become depressed. Socializing, and then a little bit of, like, a lot of people cheat. And the one thing that I would be doing 100% if they didn't allow you to take tests multiple times. Guessing chem. I like... I, I like go into it and then I'm like, okay, I got this after studying for it and then I fail it and then I can retake it until I get a good grade. Dude, that's crazy that you can retake tests. And you also have to log in a certain amount of hours onto it, which is annoying. That's like, say, weird. Say I worked for three hours, I still have to log like 10 hours for a week. Hmm. So they really keep track of your time? Mm -hmm. That's stupid. Yeah. Uh, it's a little wild. It's a little wild. Yeah. What do you, as a person, 
like the most. Could be anything. Like the like, like the, the most. most. Games, sports, books, uh, a certain type of chocolate. Whatever. All right, boys. We're we're going we're going cringy. Okay. We're going super cringy. Or my girlfriend, one hundred percent. Oh. Safe like answer. The cringiest answer. It's safe, but it's cringy. Riley, if you're watching this, um, yeah, you're my favorite thing, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm not very confident. Alright. Okay. You're about to die. On your deathbed. Literally about to enter your coffin. How do you want to be remembered? Uh. Uh, as a famous best-selling author, which I will someday be remembered as because I'm gonna work my ass off until I am. Mm. That's nah, amazing. But at, at the same time, I do want to be remembered as a man who saves animals because uh, I'm gonna open a wildlife rehab someday. Mm. And that's like what I'm really gonna be remembered by. Ostrich man or something. Ostrich man. That's amazing. Okay, well, I think we've already covered music, which was your heavy demo rock for mm -hmm. Uh, do you do any sports? Uh, is acting a sport? I would consider it a hobby. So... I don't, I, no, I, I don't do sports, but uh, I do community theater, and then... Next week, here I'm going into an actual paid theater, hopefully. So, no, I don't do I don't do sports that way. Oh, okay. I do fucking fall. I suck. I'm not very athletic. It's whatever. We're dead. <laughs> We're dead. Okay. I just threw this on here because I was eating a peanut butter sandwich. I was like, that's a question. What's your favorite sandwich? Okay, so chat, I can't have the generic peanut butter sandwich because I am allergic to peanut butter. Pussy. Big womp womp what? moment. <laughs> huh? Um, <laughs> but lately, um, I pretty much have this for lunch every day. I toast my toast, I get salami, and I get cheese, and I have a toasted bread salami and cheese sandwich. Like every day. No mayo de noche? No mayo, I hate mayo, dude. Really? Yeah. What do you not like Although, about mayo? I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's what did mayo texture, do to you? Mostly. What did it kill your father? <laughs> My daddy's still alive. Good. Good. Um, I wish I had Swiss cheese, however, because I feel like Swiss cheese would make the sandwich ten times better than a uh, normal craft single. Uh, prove me wrong. Provolone's the best cheese. Swiss, one hundred percent. I don't know, man. I like. I barely get different tastes of cheese. They all taste the same to me. We went to uh, I think it was Michigan a while ago, and we uh we got pure mozzarella cheese. Shit was good, dude. What did you get? Like an entire cheese wheel? No, it was just this little package of cheese. Hmm. And I think it was it was pretty good. The one reason why we go to Michigan now, cheese. When we went for my aunt's wedding. Nice. And we went to uh, a whole different bunch of places. We saw a snake eating a frog outside of our motel. <laughs> what? I have a picture of that. I have a picture of that somewhere. Send that to me. I'll post it on the fucking podcast. Um, if I can find it, I will. I will gladly send that. To you. Oh yeah. That would be amazing. Um, have you ever had a Philly cheesesteak? Because no, I have really, not. I don't know. Uh, that like that. I don't even have it written on my script. I just as soon as we start started talking about cheese, I was just cheesesteak. Cheese. Uh, 
<laughs> this is a dude. Cheese is a way to bring everyone together. Meats, no cheese. You can. Everyone's personality is based around cheese. If you like Swiss, you have holes I guess inside that's of yourself. I guess that's one way to think about it. Just like what people do with their smash mains. Who do you smash main? Oh, I smash main uh, Samus. Yes. Um, but if you yeah. never has um a Philly cheese stick, let me just uh, bring it down to you. It's a Philly cheese stick. It it. Okay. I, <laughs> It's good. It's uh, it's like a sub sandwich, but Philly style, <laughs> which is whatever whatever fucking meats they have. I'll probably put one on screen, but it's like this seasoned beef, but bigger, um, and flatter, um, and it doesn't taste like seasoned beef. I I don't know. It's just really oh, good. Stuff. I've had one in Philly. I went there for the the bell, uh, the cracked bell they have over there. I'm gonna clip this. Um, you just ranting about having a Philly cheese steak. Oh, dude, I my, love Philly cheese. My favorite part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I love Philly cheese steaks. I I want to go to. Apparently, in my church, we have a, like a a church no mall. <laughs> What? In my mall, we have a Philly cheesesteak, um, like, cellar over there. Um, I'm guessing it's That's fast weird, food. bro. Uh, That's I don't know why it's in New York, but it's in New York. Uh, I don't know why I said church. I'm weird. But I said church, so. Yeah, I mean, confused. Like, your church sells Philly cheesesteak? <laughs> your what? church serves cheesesteaks? Like... I'm gonna go to your church. I want some cheesecake. Maybe oh, some yeah. cheesecake on the side. Dude, I love cheese. What's your favorite cheesecake? Uh, personally, I'm not a cheesecake guy. I'm a key lime pie guy. Key lime pie. I've never had key lime pie, but I have the taste of key lime pie. It, it makes no sense, but it makes sense. I actually, uh, the first thing I went out and bought after publishing, or I'm sorry, my dad bought after uh, publishing my book was a slice of key lime pie. We both shared a key lime pie together. Man. I have to have key lime pie once. Oh my god. Oh dude, my favorite cheesecake. We've had like these Oreo cheesecakes. Um, Ooh, those are, those are good. So I was doing a cheesecake fundraiser and they screwed up big time. And they gave us free cheesecakes as compensation. Uh, at least I think it was compensation because they didn't want the cheesecakes back. Uh, so I was like, yo, free cheesecake. It's not like I, um, I don't know, raised you a thousand bucks. But I raised them a thousand bucks. They gave me three cheesecakes. One was a variety, which had multiple different types of cheesecake. And then I had a regular ass cheesecake. And then, um... You know, stuff went on from there. Uh, I ate more cheesecake until I became a big plump boy. <laughs> big and plump, just how I like it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> uh, dude, it's mostly me ranting about food now. This is 50% of the. Right, we, gotta, we gotta get back on the script. We gotta get back on the script. Okay, Bye. back on the script. Um, <laughs> We're just on like extra questions. We went through all of them. Um, what is your biggest fear? Being forgotten. Oh. I seem to My girlfriend asks me this like twice a week. She's like, what is your biggest fear every time we talk on the phone? Yeah, I don't know what my biggest fear is. Like, she forgets. Dude. And I, I genuinely tell her the same thing every time. She's like, really? She's like, I told you this last time we talked. Um. That took a really dark twist, really Being fast. Forgotten? That is a genuine we're dying to a disease that you know you can easily die to. Mm. Like oh, dementia, yeah. bro. If I get dementia, dementia it's over. Need a mag like yeah. yesterday. Dementia would be a bad way to go out. It sucks is that you wouldn't even remember that you had Your dementia. Needs slugs. For real, that's crazy. <laughs> 
Yeah. What are you the proudest of in your life? Being a published author by 16. Oh, dude. I, I that, that's not something. That's not something that you're just like, eh, whatever. Eh, I'm a, I'm a author. Not, nothing. Nothing too much. For the, for the longest time, I was like, my girlfriend was like, dude, you just published an awful How does it feel? And I was like, is it supposed to feel different? <laughs> like, I, I don't feel any different. I'm proud of myself, sure. I just genuinely don't feel any different now that I've put something out into the world. I will, however, feel different when I finally uh, release ah, just what the doctor a base off of That is when I will feel different. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> you left me. You left me. Do you have any regrets in your life of streamer, author, life? Yeah, just life in general. I uh, I regret not listening to my mom as much as I should. Oh man, I've been there. My dude. mom's trying to get me into good college, and I'm just too afraid to actually do the stuff I need to. I feel you. like I genuinely, I genuinely don't know if I want to go to college or what I want to do. But like, you know, like that, and I need to sit down and listen mm -hmm. and actually do scholarship and stuff. And that's my good regret, and I'm listening to my mom. Dude, I've been there, man. I've, I feel, I feel like a bad son, man. Me too. Uh, me too. Cause I, I'm, a, I'm genuinely an asshole, to like everybody. Like, I try so to be and nice I, as much I as I can. I know I'm. That's the issue. I know I'm. Mean, I try to change. I just, it's like one of those things that's hard to get rid of. Uh, I try. I really try my hardest to be a good son, but. I always find a way to fuck shit up, dude. Me too, bro. Always Me find too. a way. It's whatever, man. Well, I'll, I'll cope through it. Maybe I will become a good son. Maybe I will be remembered as a good son. I, I just... Maybe. Maybe someday. Maybe. Maybe in the near future. We've gone through all the questions. Do we want to make up new questions? Or do we want to... How long do your podcast normally want to run for? Because like we could we could speed bullet off a bunch of random ass questions and then keep the good ones in the podcast. We could we could like lightning round this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If we lightning round the fuck out of just random ass things, like I genuinely expected way more questions about the other books that I plan on publishing or the anime because you know I'm doing that. Like, I gotta pull that stuff up too, you know. Alright, pull out the fucking anime, okay? Let's go fucking Jujutsu Kaisen up in this bitch. <clears throat> okay, so, um, so all of you don't know. Actually, everybody is listening to this already. It's kind of funny. Um, I am slowly making an uh, anime. Um, I'm doing the voice acting work for one of the main characters myself. Um, I'm writing the script myself. Um, and then at some point I'm going to go and I'm going to pay a good animation to um, animate an anime for me. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to get it done at some point before I graduate college, but I don't think I don't think it's realistic. Um, that that's the dream is to finish the book series and then publish an anime. Have an anime series about a key lime pie. I'm in your Call it Life of Key Lime Pie. Actually, that, that's a there's a hefty bullet point in one of the books that I'm writing uh, about how um, him and his dad both share the same love for Key Lime Pie. <laughs> and that's not the whole book, but uh, I, I I am officially working on other titles other than um, something about a guy's. I'm, I'm working on plenty of different books. So I won't, I won't, I probably won't be known for Fallen of Gods of War. That'll probably, like, that'll be like, oh yeah, that was my first series. But I think every time you 
write something, you get better at it, and eventually your work is just going to be insanely good, and that's what you're going to be known for. Not the first book you published when you were 16. Yeah. I, I have no gun. Oh, that sucks. I, I genuinely don't have a gun. And this weird scientist dude's just running around. Is that following this scientist guy? I want to know where he is. I want to fucking shoot his face off. Oh. Anyway, next, next question. Oh, um... How many books are you planning to make? For, uh, Ballad of God's in general? In general. In general, um, as many as I can make before I die. Um, that's, that's genuinely the only answer. I don't think I'll ever stop writing. Like, until, even if I'm on my deathbed, I'll, I'll find a way to finish my last book. One more. I got your brother in the palm of my hand. But the Ballad of God's in Men, it is officially confirmed to have about, I don't know, it's gonna be like seven titles. Four seven? of which are, yeah, four of which are the main series. Um, it's gonna have a prequel, and then it's gonna have a prequel, which I've already used. Oh, one yeah. of those, I will, I will reveal the name of one of the, uh, spin-offs. It's called The Book of Thornos. Um, Thornos is the name of the You're god in here. all four of the main books. I still want to have a gun. Should I just let you die out? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, basically, there's like four, like, very dark stuff. I would recommend my series because uh, I'm, I'm working on the second book right now. Uh, I just wrote it today uh, where dog like dog, tug of war with a fat king's body <laughs> like its head from its body like literally ripped the spine and the head from his body separating his legs from his, the rest of it which i thought was really freaking nasty but it, it really you are not it, wrong it just, that is really fucking descriptive i like I that veto you, box. everything's descriptive uh including the smut in the second book which uh, i haven't actually had the pleasure of writing much of yet this game is sucking me off right now. Hey, I have my gun back. Dude, so. I have the ray gun and the winter's hollow. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and on my end, I have a Galil. Hey, well. Um, did you did you ever watch any anime? Dude, of course I did. Um, Which ones? Another, What's your favorite? Another, two main inspirations for the books are uh, Berserk 1997, not the new 2016 bullshit, and uh, Attack on Titan. Those are my two favorite anime. AOT is a great anime. Uh, I will... I'm not going to say it. I can't say it because that will ruin the uh, huge plot twist of the second book. Never mind, we're not, we're not saying that. I'm just saying the villain always goes crazy. That's all I have to say. Dude, whenever there's like a twist in the storyline, uh, it's it's always a great sign. It's funny because the twist is revealed with the first five chapters of the first book. But everybody I've read or talked to about it after sending them the rough draft of the second book have, has been like, um, how did that happen? Like, I had no idea that was a thing. And I just go to them and I'm like, dude, I wrote about this in the first, like, I have to it. It's so obvious. Do you have very small brain, or...? <laughs> it was, it, to be fair, it wasn't detailed, though. It was meant to be, um, just thought over. Like, it wasn't like... This huge, like, this is the villain of all the rest of the books. No, it was just one of these things where it's like, yeah, um, the villain, you know, this is him. Um, you guys should hate him, but everybody grows to love him. Oh. I mean, I love to hate people. Like, in general, I love hating people. Well, then, you, you, you would love my, uh, my books. 
Like, there was this one fucking... Uh, of Mice and Men. I don't know if you've read it before, but... Of that, Mice and... I've heard of it. I haven't It's read an it. amazing book. Um... Um, uh, I'll give you a brief detail about it. When I described it to my mother, she was like, what the fuck, that's twisted. Um, and it's not even that twisted. Uh, it was basically about these two guys that, um, you know, they, they travel together looking for jobs and other stuff like that. Um, they, uh, it's about these, uh, there's a very big guy, just think of Leroy from fucking, um, Barry, that big guy, uh, yeah, that's him, very big guy, uh, and he, he was accused of rape by another woman before coming to this place, um, and, you know, I'm terrible at describing stuff, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, you don't have to describe it, I'll look into it after. It, it's a very good book, I love the book, we we were forced to read it, and I had a good time with it. Um, it was a really good book. Uh, I think we're good. Half an hour, we're good with that. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. Uh, we can, we can send it off now. Where can we find you? Where can we buy your book? Uh, what are your hours of streaming? Uh, put those all down in the comment section or some shit like that. Put them in the freaking, um, the description of the video, dog, or something. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll quickly say this. Um, twitch.tv slash bike really constructor is my Twitch. Um, the book that is published is called The King of Desolation. Right now it's only on Amazon, but I am working on getting it to a bunch of different places. Um, I got a YouTube, it's by, which got, uh, it's just Viper the Constrictor. I don't publish much on there, I, I really need to. And then my TikTok is at the King of Nastomar, which is pretty cool. So um, that, that, that's all of my socials, that's all I gotta say. If you guys want to catch the next podcast live on Twitch, I don't mean to, but I do it. Uh, it's uh, twitch.tv slash ttv. Um, catch you then. It's probably going to be in a month's time we do another one. Planning to do one podcast every month. Uh, this month of April, uh, we're so glad to have Viper on. And I, if this does well... Uh, I'm planning to do a part two, uh, in a year's, two years time, uh, catching up with each other, you know, stuff like that. Uh, put it in the comments. Who do you want to see? Small, big, medium, stuff like that. Alright, it's been real. Peace.